Hey, Kevin here from DIYDork.com. Today I want to show you how to build a really awesome chalkboard using scrap wood. So check this out. This is pretty cool. All right, so to make this chalkboard, I'm using a whole bunch of scraps I've had left over from other projects. So I have some one by sixes there that are three quarter inch thick. I think they'll be good if I cut them down for the outside perimeter trim. I have a bunch of these slats. I have a whole bunch more if I need them. These are cut off from other projects, but they are inch and a half wide. They're about a quarter inch thick, maybe not quite, but roughly a quarter inch thick. And they're just cut down from a bunch of two by fours. So I just, you know, imagine a two by four like this and you run it down a table saw until it turns into a bunch of slats. So real simple way of using up old two by fours. All right, so then for the actual chalkboard surface, I didn't have to make mine. I actually found this piece of, uh, I, I'm not even really sure what it was, probably a part of a cabinet or something from Ikea, but I found it in their clearance section. I actually bought a huge cart full of this stuff just wrapped up in cellophane for 15 bucks. It was like the size of a grocery cart. If you can imagine that huge pile of stuff, uh, old shelf pieces, door fronts to cabinets, just all kinds of random pieces and I bought them and I had two of these in there. So I thought it'd be perfect for a uh, chalkboard surface because it's a black laminate and it has just a little bit of a texture to it. So when you write on it, chalk will stick to it. And it also works great with these chalk markers, which is a big reason why I'm making this video. But anyway, if you didn't have something like this, you could either buy a chalkboard and then just kind of trim it out like I'm doing, or you could make one with maybe a piece of uh, masonite or really smooth sanded plywood that you then paint with some chalkboard paint. But since this is pre-made, it's basically just a black uh, plastic laminate. It'll work perfect for this. All right, so a big reason I'm making this video is because I was contacted by a company called Chocola that makes these chalk markers. They told me they'd send me a pack of each of their products for free if I'd use them on a, you know, build something and use them and kind of show what they look like. So when they sent them to me, I tested them out and they actually look really cool, just so I decided to use them. So the first pack here, you get eight jumbo sized chalk markers here. You can see by my thumb, I mean, they're huge. This make a, they make a real nice bold line when you draw with them, look pretty cool. You could probably do a little calligraphy with them if you wanted. And they also have this box here that has 16 colors. So there are 10 smaller bullet sized markers. So it's the same colors as these plus black and brown. And then it comes with this little box of six metallic colors. You can see all the colors here, plus there's gold and silver. Now they are all chalk, including the metallics, which is pretty cool. So they're all water-based, non-toxic. They clean up really well and uh, they actually, I just really like the color and the boldness of them. They look really cool, especially on a, a deep, bold, um, black background like this. Now, they did tell me that they're made for non-pore surfaces, so think like a real chalkboard, plastic, metal, glass, ceramic, but they're not really supposed to be used on a painted chalkboard surface. So, of course, as soon as I got them, the very first thing I did was try them on painted chalkboard surface, and they looked really cool. They were a little harder to clean off, but I was actually able to get rid of even some of the ghosting left behind when I cleaned them, which I know is a big problem pe people have when they um, use chalk markers on that. So if you're interested, I could even maybe make a video about how to clean these off of a painted chalk surface in case you want to make a chalkboard like mine, but you don't have a nice laminate surface and you're going to make your own out of wood and chalk paint. So anyway, I can do that if you want. And uh, I'll leave links to both of these where you can get them on Amazon. And they also gave me a coupon code you can use to get 15% off. So I'll put that in the description as well. So now let me get started making this chalk board it should turn out really awesome and then I'll show you what these look like when I draw on it. All right so first thing I'm going to do is size up my blackboard piece and right now it's 24 by 39 and a half. I'd prefer it to be 24 by 36 so I'm going to chop three and a half inches off. So if you look at it up close it has these kind of holes all throughout. These will get covered up by the side trim. I'm not worried about those but these will kind of be in the way so I think what I'm going to do is chop three inches off this end over here. It'll get rid of those. And then the holes down here is no big deal because those are going to get covered up by my slats later, my little you know design on the bottom. So that's what I'll do first is I will chop this to size and I'll start working on the uh, trim pieces. All right, so now I want to cut the trim. So imagine that this is my chalkboard piece I just cut earlier. Remember it has these holes I want to cover up. So my trim is going to be two pieces. So I'll have a side piece. This will mount against the wall. This will be the front. And then I'll have a front cap for it. So it'll mount something like that, okay? And then my chalkboard will actually just mount from behind and I'll have a nice clean edge. Now, of course, these are way too wide. I think proportionally, if I cut them at an inch and a half both, it'll look pretty good. So I actually only have a three quarter inch overhang this way and then this would be inch and a half plus this three quarter. So it should look pretty good. So let me get them cut. I think it'll make a little more sense then. Uh, 
All right, so I got my trim pieces handed nice and smooth. They look pretty cool. There's still a lot of texture on them from the uh, reclaimed wood I used, so it should look pretty awesome. So what I decided to do is build the trim in two steps and keep it real simple with butt joints. So I'm just going to cut them to size so that the side pieces will fit like that, which is a simple butt joint. Throw in a little glue, pop in a couple of nails, it should be strong. Once this entire perimeter of side pieces is done, then I can throw on my front cap pieces. And they're going to be the same way. They're just going to overlap a little bit like that. And then this piece is just going to come meet it. I'm just going to do a simple butt joint again. And of course I'll put in more glue and nails and it should be a nice and strong little joint here in the corner. And then the um, actual chalkboard piece will just butt up against the back side of these caps. So it should fit really well. So I'll go ahead and start building that, show you what it looks like. And then I got another piece I need to do up here. And then I can start throwing in my little design here at the bottom. So I'll start doing that next. All right, so now that I got all the frame built and the chalkboard is pretty much ready to go, I just got to figure out my slat design down here. So I just kind of laid these out. I think I'm going to do something like this. Of course, I have to add some more slats to fill in the holes, but just getting kind of a rough idea of the layout. So what I'm going to do next is pull all these off and paint and stain and just do all kinds of stuff to each one individually so they'll all be different. So some would be a solid color, some could be striped, they could be fingerprinted, they could be spattered, they could just be lightly stained, they could be distressed with the sander, just all kinds of stuff. I'm doing them all totally random and then I'm going to go through and try to, you know, custom measure and fit everyone, which would be a little bit tedious, but I think it'll look really cool when I'm done. So I'll start doing that next to start finishing out this chalkboard. check it out here are all the pieces after I painted them and stained and just did all kinds of stuff so some are kind of ugly but I think they'll be kind of cool once they're all put together I think it'll look pretty good so I'm gonna let them dry and then I will start placing them on the chalkboard So now my chalkboard is finished. I got the hanger on the back. I'm ready to put it up and draw on it. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to kind of prep it before you start drawing so that you don't leave marks or ghosting and things like that. So because I'm using that piece from Ikea that's like a plastic laminate, um, I don't necessarily have to do this, but if you are using a real chalkboard or you've painted a piece of wood with chalkboard paint, you wanna prime it first. And by priming, what I mean is you take a piece of chalk, you lay it on side and you cover the whole thing. Thank <laughs> you. 
And then you wipe it down to leave a coating of dust everywhere and it just helps the chalk kind of glide around the surface a little better instead of scratching up your new paint. You can see how it's turned into a nice gray instead of that shiny black. It looks like a real truck board. All right, and then as you can see, the chalk works really nice on this and it looks good on chalkboard paint as well. So next what I'll do is show you how to use the chalk markers. It's a little bit different, but it looks really cool. All right, so before you start using the uh, chalk markers, you actually need to prep them. So they have a clean white tip. You want to press it up against the surface. It'll pump up in there and get the uh, chalk liquid flowing, kind of like a paint pen. And once it gets going, it'll kind of look like that. It'll start to absorb. And then when it's totally ready to go, it'll be completely absorbed like that. And you can just see by my thumb how big these uh, jumbo tips are. So these are pretty cool. Nice, bright, bold lines when you draw. So these are the jumbos. Now the other package contains these. These are the bullet tips. It's the same thing. When you open them up, they'll have a clean white tip that you have to pump. And it looks pretty cool. And it's all the eight colors of the jumbos plus the brown and the black. So you get 10 of these colors. So these are the bullet tips. And then finally, in the bullet tip packaging is also the six metallic colors. It's pretty cool. They're actually very shiny metallic, even though they're chalks. They look pretty cool. Now these are a little different. They're ready to go as is. So you can just start drawing with them. So these are the metallics. And there you go. That's what the uh, markers look like on the board. So when this dries, I'll show you how easy it is to clean. It's not too bad at all. All right, and then once the uh, chalk markers dry, um, you'll notice that after several days, it'd be a little harder to wipe off. So uh, what you want to do is get a damp rag. So I'm just using water on here. Just wipe it off. You'll see it'll smear everywhere. So then you just need to flip your rag over a couple times to get it real nice and clean. All right, so it's kind of smeared. So I'll just flip my rag around, wipe it some more. And then I'll take a separate rag that's nice and dry and just kind of wipe up all that. And you're pretty much ready to go. Now, if you want it extra clean, you can use a window uh, glass cleaner like a uh, Windex or even like this aerosol stuff here. Just spray it on and then use a paper towel or whatever. And it'll clean everything off, even the old chalk that you used to prime it. So this will bring it back to new. Now, this is for a non pour surface, which the uh, markers are really rated for. But if you're using a real chalk uh, board or a chalk painted surface, it's going to take a little bit more effort to clean it off. And a couple different cleaners like you said or like i said earlier if you want to check that out i might make a video on that if you're interested but otherwise that's how simple it is to clean these it looks pretty cool now i'll show you what the whole thing looks like finished hanging up on the wall all right check it out here it is all finished i got it mounted up on the wall by the front door so you can write messages on there so right above our flammable cabinet where we keep shoes sometimes but i'll show you what it looks like up close so i got the reclaimed wood here they were old floorboards from the house i cut up i like how they cut edge Looks a little different than just the sanded, uh, you know, top edges there. And that uh, looks pretty cool. Got the exposed nail heads, gives it that kind of cool rustic modern look. And then here at the bottom, I have all the uh, patchwork of stripes. I tried to do them all a little different. I got a few repeats, but I got the spatter paint and fingerprinted and blotted and stained with shoe polish and all kinds of stuff. I thought I'd try out a few tricks. Looks pretty awesome. And then for the chalkboard itself, of course, I used that IKEA cabinet piece. And after I've used it a few times and, and wiped it down, I mean, it looks like a legit chalkboard, but it cleans up real easy. But of course, you could make it like, you know, you could make this entire thing, but use a board and paint it if you wanted. And uh, anyway, let me show you what the uh, markers actually look like on there. So I used the chunky white here. I used a chunky blue, but on end to get a little bit skinnier look. I also have the metallic teal on there as an extra highlight. And then I even used the black bullet tip markers for the little dots there. So you can kind of get an idea of what the black looks like. Then the little border here is actually all of the colors of the bullet tips, so you can get an idea of what they look like. I also included the silver and the gold. So those right here, that's gold, and this is silver, and in the right light, they get reflective, which is pretty cool. So there you go. That's how the uh, chalkboard turned out. Looks pretty cool. It actually wasn't too difficult to build, and it's a really cool way to recycle and reuse wood. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. I really appreciate that. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. That really helps get it out in front of other people that might like to check it out too. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do that to keep up with more videos. And if you want to see some other projects I have, I have some here on the screen and down in the description below as well.